Emma Hart, Be Somebody. This is Emma Hart's first solo show at The Sunday Painter. At the core of the show, Hart is looking at what French sociologist Pierre Bordeaux coined as split habitus, a sense of acute discomfort when you find yourself operating in an alien social environment with different rules, expectations and values to those you were brought up with. Specifically in this case, if you have a working class background and are trying to be somebody in the middle class art world. The ground floor gallery is comprised of speech bubbles and megaphones. The speech bubbles are hung at head height. This is so we the viewer can engage with and potentially complete the action of the work by standing near it and having it emit from our mouths. The megaphones Hart specifically describes as sculptures of the act of using a megaphone. A round face, brightly coloured, decorated with a banal pattern, shouts into a megaphone. But all that is produced is the same round face with the same pattern. The repetition of these blank faces suggests the monotony of self-broadcasting or someone endlessly going on about themselves. The speech bubbles have a duality as they appear to be heads. The letters glazed on their surface become facial features and the spout of the speech bubble can be understood as a nose. The large head is split. The white glossy speech bubble has a rougher red matte interior. Here Hart is adeptly using gloss and matte glazes as metaphors for inner and outer selves. We all present a glossy exterior but inside there's a raw self. Every time the speech bubble produces a word which becomes a face it is shadowed or undermined by the presence of this raw red side. Downstairs sees a marked shift in tone. We are introduced to a new body of work by Hart, Mirror Works. Again using gloss and matte glazes, we are seeing a split self appear, one that is peering back in on itself as it morphs from the very mirror it's peering into. The surface of the mirror has been achieved through Hart's use of metallic luster, which is a risky third firing technique. All of these pseudo selves have been cropped to the shape and size of the mirror they're looking into. The idea that our self image can shape and even reduce our very selves, that the input of self reflection can actually be self reducing. An important element to these works is that we the viewer can position ourselves to catch the reflection of the mirror looking in on itself, that we can witness the act of self reflection objectively. Hart plays with our expectations of a mirror, taking the dome head screws we normally encounter on domestic mirrors and exaggerating them to become bodily attributes. There is also a relationship with the bats on the opposite wall, the synchronicity of a bat and a ball, which in turn exaggerates the sense of dynamic movement which permeates across the whole exhibition. Hart manages to combine a rich plethora of ideas, often potentially conflicting ones being remarkably playful, humorous and light, whilst also delving into complex issues of class and a sense of self. Finally, we see the bats, all lined up together, knocking the viewer along the line. Again, the height of the work and how it interacts on an anthropometric scale is key to its dynamic feel. Hart wants all the work to get right up in people's faces, to be confrontational, to be noisy and full of movement. When considering all the works are made of ceramic, it's a remarkable feat. The bats could also be considered as potential mirrors, with people looking at themselves. Personally, I can't help but see them as people waiting for something and staring at their phones. And that, in turn, leads me to consider how the whole show really embodies the anxieties of the age. That all of the works are born from a culture of intense navel-gazing, a constant reflection on where we place ourselves objectively through the eyes and context of others. Ultimately, Hart is asking us to look and try and find where we are. Are we what we say, what we do, what we think, the reflections we cast, or none of the above? 